Changing the rendering quality to render with anti-aliasing can help reduce the staircase effect or jaggies caused by the square nature of pixels. The quality can be set from the MNPRX rendering tools but can also be toggled through the configuration node. FXAA will run a post-processing filter to smoothen edges, SSAA will render at four times the resolution to scale it back, and TAA will average multiple slightly shifted frames. While TAA gives the best results, manipulating the scene with TAA enabled can show some ghosting artifacts, so it's best to work in standard and render with TAA instead. Keep in mind that anti-aliasing averages nearby pixels, so depending on what quality you choose, pixel size details could be toned down, as the distortion in this case. By default, only the output is rendered at the set quality, but if you want to render other internal targets with anti-aliasing, you can change the output in the Pass Inspector and use the Sequence Renderer to get these AOVs. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about future videos and tutorials we do here at Artineering. If you love what we do, please also consider buying our software or becoming our Patreon. It really means the whole world to count with your support and it allows us to keep developing this for you. That's it. See you next time.